G'day guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be installing the Auto Beam LED indicator upgrade for the Fiesta Mark 7. Um, you get two sets of the same, so these are your front and rears, and we get the little wing mirror indicators as well. So these ones are going to be a bit more difficult because you've got to pop off the mirror cap to get to them. Um, I'm going to try and do it without taking out the headlights because I'm sick of taking them out. So we'll try and get in behind there and pop the um, original indicators out and get these ones back in. And then we will try and get these in. So I'll do a before and after comparison as well. The standard ones, nighttime um, and daytime compared to the auto beam upgrade. All right, so I don't know if you can see the gray cap just down in here but that is your indicator. Like I said, I'm going to try. I'm going to use my thumb to push it down. You want to turn them anti-clockwise and my finger to pull it up. And then you need to get a hold of it and wiggle it out. Okay. So that one's coming out. Hopefully we can get the other one back in. So it's just a bayonet clip. So give it a twist and it's on a bit of a spring. Okay, so take your new auto beam bulb, line it up, give it a push and twist and then it won't come out. And then go underneath the edge of the air box, line it up with the hole, make sure you line your little tabs up that lock. And now we just need to screw clockwise and you'll feel a click and that's it it's in so now we will do the same with the other side and we'll give them a test so this is the fronts fully installed these are really bright wow really bright so you can do them without removing the headlight. It's a bit hard, but all in all, less than five minutes and they are in. So now we're gonna move on to the wing mirrors and then we'll do the rears. So hopefully you guys can see that little blue clip in there. There's four of them. There's one right down the side that you can't really get to unless you pop the mirror out. There's that one. There's the one that the screwdriver's stuck into. And then there's one just here on the end as well. So you just need to pop those off and then you can gently wiggle your mirror cap off. Okay, so this is what it's like once you've got the cap off. It is a bit tricky, you've got to use a bit of force. And this is the bulb that we're going to replace. So this is like a little rubber silicon housing thing that just pulls out. And then the bulb itself just pulls out as well. So I'll do that. I'll replace it with our auto beam upgrade. And then we'll test it before we put it all back together. confirmation it's working so we can put it all back together now and do the other side so moving on to the rear we've got this screw up top this screw down the bottom so there are t25 torques you have to take out the whole assembly for these ones so get your t25 torques in there undo them both and then come around here and pull your carpet away and up under here, reach in to this cavity. Above the cable, there's a wing nut. It takes a long time to undo. And then you can pull the light away. This is your wing nut. It's quite a long thread, so it's hard to do. 
Now I'm not going to do this by myself because I'll end up dropping the light. But you just undo these screws and then just pull it out and away a little bit and it should come out. When you do pull your light assembly away, don't yank too hard because this cable is really short and you just need to push the clip down and pull it out. Now, looking at the light assembly, it's this inside one here that we're going to change, which is an orange bulb at the moment. So looking at it, it's this one right here. So just like all of them, turn it anti-clockwise a little bit and pull it out. It, this one is a bayonet pin, so push it down and twist and then it'll come out. So it's time for the new one to go in, which will go in the opposite way of that one coming out. So with the new globe installed, that's the new indicator bulb there. As you can see, just here and down here, there's two little locating pins. They go into these little rubber grommets. And don't forget to connect your wiring back up. And then once that's done, put your screws back in and then don't forget your wing nut around the back. And then that's it for this side. Don't forget to test it before doing it all up. This has just been held in with the locator pins. Um, as you can see, I've got the reverse lights in there also. But then compared that to stock, you can see the difference right there. All right, time to do the driver's side. This is a standard indicator in the daytime it's pretty bright plenty bright enough go over to the mirror indicator these are the ones that I find not very bright and helpful and then coming around to the back Interested to see the difference. Auto beams. How bright is that? These are ridiculously bright and ridiculously orange. They're heaps better. Standard indicators at night. The auto beams. As you'd expect with auto beam, these are really bright. Very, very bright, especially at night. That's the auto beam indicators all installed. Um, relatively straightforward. The fronts I could manage to do without um, taking the headlights out. So that was, that was nice, not having to do that. Definitely have to take the rear um, head, uh, rear tail light assembly out to do it but it's very easy um, and it was just a little bit fiddly popping the um, mirror caps off for the first time so but one, once that was off it was very easy and straightforward from there and easy to pop them back on all in all I've had them on for a couple of weeks now um, and yeah they're bright I've driven at night and I've been a bit worried that they're blinding people <laughs> they're that bright you can see so when the right indicator's on, you can see it behind you in the mirror on the left side. So, um, yeah, no one can complain that they didn't see you indicate. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.